Hi, Cyrus Spruce here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 17, and it's been a few hours since last episode. It looks like the derivative boosts are somehow cheaper. I thought that was E67 knowledge, but maybe there's some sort of upgrade here. So, maybe what I can do, I have a bunch of gluons, and um, this is much more expensive, but I can get one of these, so I will do that. That'll help slightly. And I can see here, I can triple pathogen gains, but that's most of my photons. Actually, it's, I can only pick one of these upgrades. No, I can pick two of these. I can double photon and gluon gain, and it can boost knowledge gain by 50%. So I'll do that. And I can also increase quark and lepton gain by 10%. I, I can do that a bunch of times. I can do that, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine times. So they're all going to help boost the quark and, and lepton gain. If we check that, um, yeah, I'm getting 44 per second and 14 per second. I think doing that nine times is really only going to about double, um, or do a little more than double that, but it's still something. Can't really do anything with these mechanics, but the big thing is the Higgs boson, which means I can always keep Time reversal increase, the pathogen upgrade automator, the dark core automator, and have automation unlocked. And people were telling me that, yeah, I was going to unlock more um, upgrades. So, first thing here I see is unlock auto robots. I don't even know what the robots are, but I probably want to do some more automation. And, um, I mean, maybe if I go into here, I don't know what, auto, well, I don't know what robots I'm automating. Um... All I see is just auto robots, so I'm not going to click it yet. Maybe I'll look here. Um, unlock auto infinity upgrades. Infinity upgrades are never repealed. Yes, I'm going to get that. That is huge. And this is, you start with 10 endorsements on resets. Pretty good. But I'm also going to want this. This is quarks, leptons, photons, gravitons, and Higgs bosons boost the elementary particle gain. So this means I'll be getting more elementary particles in a run. And we can get, start with 10 endorsements on reset. Endorsements beyond... 36 boost Higgs bosons gain. That's huge. That's going to give me a ton of Higgs bosons and perks last 900% longer. So, like, remember, yeah, remember these? Yeah, they now last an hour. So, that's huge. And then also some more auto stuff. Auto endorsements. That's huge. I'm definitely going to want that. If I go into automation, um, well, first I'll get this just because why not? And this is now down to less than 30th of a second. So I will definitely want auto infinity upgrades and auto endorsements. Not really sure what auto robots are. Oh, it's auto. It's automating the automation upgrades. That's what it is. Okay. So there's also auto perks. And the perk accelerator. There's a whole new new mechanic I'm unlocking. Like seriously, it's just been a few hours. And hmm, I see. So it must be accelerator. It's making the the perks um, way faster but stronger. I don't really like that. I'd rather have the perks be slightly weaker. I don't know, maybe the 1.5 times is actually a lot more powerful than I think. But I don't like it only lasting 10 seconds. Um, there's also auto derivative shifts and boost, auto endorsements by max, and you gain knowledge 200% faster. So now if I go in automation, auto perks. Ha, auto perks, that's a, that's the big thing. So now I never have to click these again. I can just automate them. And then there's keep stadium challenges on reset and elementary elementary particle gain and Higgs boson gain are increased by 10% for every Higgs boson bot. So you can see how many elementary particles I'm going to gain next upgrade. And there's unlock auto enlightenments. So you, you can see, um, yeah, I'm, so yeah, this is going to just do a lot of stuff. Not only that, there's more stuff I can get. Unlock auto spectral gem distribution, and you keep purge power on reset. It makes me think, maybe I should go into purge power. Um, yeah, I now have a little bit more purge power. It's not really that much, but it, it's something. And derivative boosts are stronger based on your Higgs bosons. As if I needed any more overpower of the derivative boosts. So, there's four upgrades I cannot afford yet, but... Two of them are kind of within range, and there's some that are out of range. So, the ones that are in range are unlock a new row and column of infinity upgrades. That's 
overpowered, because we know how overpowered those Infinity Upgrades are. And Knowledge Gain and Ascension Power Gain are faster based on the Perk Accelerator's speed. I forgot what the Perk... Yeah, the Perk Accelerator, the, the new thing I just unlocked a minute ago. So, yeah, you can see how powerful that is. Maybe Gauge Bosons are a little bit... I don't know, okay, it's about the same as before. That That's fine. And if we go... It's, it's, it's really weird because there's Tab, Sub-Tab, and then Sub-Sub-Tab. I really feel like it should just be Fermions, Gauge Bosons, and Scalar Bosons. Like, that that would work better. So, yeah, I could want to grind to 2e9. That's, that's what I'm going to do, because we can just see how powerful, how overpowered a new row of infinity upgrades could be. So, you can see I already have 81. Doing this will, I think, if it's a row and column, yeah, that, that'll give me 100 infinity upgrades in total, which is 19 new upgrades. So this one upgrade is... Like, you can see how many upgrades I've gotten. I'm 4, 7, 9, 12, 14. It's going to unlock more upgrades than that. That's how overpowered this is. So, that's why I'm really excited to unlock it. So, you can see if now I'm actually pretty close to the next endorsement. I'm at E1.6 million universes. So, yeah, that's pretty exciting. Of course, it's derivative booster scales because everything has to be scaled in this game. Everything, or, or if it's not scaled, it's soft capped. But anyway, here we go. We can now get this upgrade, which means that let's see if I can. I've already gotten one of them because remember, I get these automatically. Hyper tier scaling is weaker based on your knowledge. This gives me another endorsement. Um, it looks like these. Um, yeah, the, the only one that seems like it's within reach at all is this one. Which is super scale pathogen upgrade scaling is weaker based on your ascension power and distance produces snap at a reduced rate. I don't know what snap is, but it's certainly something. So I think I'm not sure if I do want to grind. I do want to grind all the way to here because knowledge and ascension power gain are faster. So this is going to be it's, it'll be at least pretty big. Actually, yeah, it's huge. I thought none of them were within range, but turns out they are way within range because. I've gotten some more upgrades. Velocital energy boosts your accelerational energy by at a reduced rate, and Infinity 7-7's boost to velocital energy he uses a better formula. And also the rocket effect also affects time speed. So remember the rocket effect from like episode one? It's making your acceleration and maximum velocity boost themselves. This, yeah, that, that's also gonna affect time speed. Not only that. Super scale dark core scaling starts five later. Triple base knowledge gain, and before any other boost, knowledge gain is raised to the power of 1.15. Maybe that's how I was able to get so much. And then there's robot intervals boost heavenly chip gain. Forgot what heavenly. Or, yeah, these are the heavenly chips. So you can see now I'm getting a lot more heavenly chips than before. I'm also getting more purge power than before. I wonder if because of how overpowered that upgrade is, being more, even more Higgs bosons. No, I'm not. So, the upgrades that are out of reach right now are Angels and Demons boost the Gauge Force effect and Purge Power boosts Quark and Lepton gain. So I think what I want to do, you can see just how much I, I can get. I can get 89 elementary particles, which is huge. I have three, and I'm going to have 89. So, three Fermions, three Bosons. What I plan to do, I plan to put 10% of them into Fermions and then put the rest into Bosons because Bosons are doing a lot more than what the Fermions could ever do. Also, I have enough anti... Actually, no, I don't have enough. I thought I had enough anti-red and green and blue to get some of these, but no, I can't. So let's see how much will reset when I get this. So here we go, 89 elementary particles. And okay, so what I'm first going to do, I'm going to first... Transform 10% into Fermions, and then the rest into Bosons. So, it does reset these numbers, but it isn't resetting these upgrades. Okay, so that's that's pretty important to know. So, and also, Scalar Bosons, um, they stay the same. I lose my Higgs Bosons, but I, stay, I keep the upgrades, which is the far more important thing. And it looks like it's fast enough that I can 
instantly gain 46 elementary particles. Okay, now I can just see how overpowered this is. I guess I can just put it all into bosons before more elementaries. It does take a while, just a bunch of resets, probably because of endorsements. But then I can, of course, gain a whole ton of elementary particles. I don't know why I'm gaining less each time, but maybe this is the point where I can just transform it all into fermions. This will just help gain more quarks and leptons. And then I'll put the rest into bosons. So you can just see what I'm doing. It's still 37, so it must be... I don't know how I got to 46 before. It's probably knowledge. Um, and for whatever reason, these are still not automated, which... I mean, the purge power is automated, but not that. So that just clicking those two buttons is enough to double my elementary particle gain. So I do know some stuff is based on elementary... Um, on the amount of elementaries, and just having a ton more bosons will do a lot. So, like, I, th I think at this point I'll be getting a lot more Higgs bosons as well. I mean, not at this point, but once I start, once the numbers start going crazy again, I can, I remember to get these, or just do this, um, I will be able to gain 80-something elementary particles, and gain... Or millions of Higgs bosons per second. We're not at the billions. We're not really anywhere close to these two upgrades. That's fine. And I think... I'm not really sure what the goal is at this point. I also can get this. Um, the spectral gems are scaled, even though I don't really think they could... They need to be scaled. Could start a purge run, but I can't do... I can't do anything with that. So, the thing is, the next upgrades here... This is um, within reach. It's robot magnitudes, boost demonic soul gain, and a purge power... Ex um, effect exponent is halved. So um, that may seem like a nerf, but the purge power is this. And this essentially, it's making this canceling out of the boosts raises the power of this. So having the exponent will make this just 0 0.10 0 instead of 0 0.20. And I could try to get a more bosons, or maybe what I can do while I'm waiting is I, at this point, especially if I. Um, I can just go into knowledge gain, and you can see now this is about a four and a half times boost to knowledge gain, I think. And yeah, it's enough to get that upgrade. I think the most powerful thing at this point is to get derivative booster stronger, and then something like, I mean, there is the left hand gain is, power, is more powerful, but I think something like this is just going to be the best. But that's what I think is the best strategy. So, see, 80, 86 elementary particles. I'm not really sure what I'm trying to go for. I could be trying to get more of these upgrades, but this one actually isn't that good. It, it isn't game-changing. So what I think I can do, I can just gain 86 elementary particles and just put everything into bosons at this point. I don't need anything other than bosons. And I don't, I don't know why my photons gain is so slow when you compare it to Gauge force. Actually, it's because gauge force, the formula is kind of weak. So, I guess what I can do, I can just, I can do the, I can do these clicks, and get the 80 um, elementary particles, and just keep doing that. Um, I'm not really sure what else I could be doing. I mean, also maybe these gravitons. I, don't know, I I'm not really sure what I can be doing. I mean, I know there's something I can do. Also, it's annoying how this defaults to the infinity tab, but I could. When I need to go here, I need to do this. Maybe it's an automation thing that I'm missing. Aha, I knew it. I knew it was some sort of automation thing I was missing. You might have been screaming at me. I'm so sorry for that. So now, all I need to do is wait like 15 seconds, and then I get 80 more elementary particles. So, I mean, the thing is that if you go here for the next major mechanic, um, I need to get a thousand elementary particles in a single run. So I'm not really close to that, even though I am getting close to a thousand total elementary particles. So I'm I feel like the best idea is just maybe keep doing this until I get to a long and, and then no, I don't know. Just keep doing this until a certain point. And then after that point, I mean it could just I, I could just that point could just be now, but I feel like what I should do is just wait a few hours 
And once I wait those few hours, I'll be able to get these two upgrades. Not really the most powerful, but also that they could help. And also I'll be getting a lot more photons upgrades and everything. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.